everyone. Welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot, and welcome, Gemini. How are you? Um, this is a special reading, and thank you for returning and subscribing. If you haven't, please do. I'm new here, so um, besides doing um, angel readings and love messages, there's a new reading that I'm doing today, and this, this could be for you. This is about the mystical journey, the magic in you. Okay, so um, please bear with me. Uh, it's something new, and it's very exciting, because know that... Um, this is going to unlock and activate the wisdom of the avatar and the shaman anywhere you are in the station of life, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a parent bringing in beautiful souls, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, whether you're a healer, whether you're a spiritual advisor, whether you're a coach, musician, artist, this is going to help you expand your personal power, your magic to manifest. And if you're feeling stuck, this is also for you where you haven't been able to get out of your way. There's going to be many messages here from our ancestors um, who in your DNA you have incarnated many different times in different cultures. So that's coming in through our nature spirit uh, cards. We're going to have the animal tarot here as well. And know that the there's three different types of animal spirits, right? You have the totem, which is the animal that you come in this car this lifetime where you'll know you keep collecting certain types of uh, trinkets and, and wonderful portraits or things that you really, really stick to. But know that um, in my uh, learning that the totem animal changes as you progress in your spiritual evolution. It changes. For me, it does. Anyway, it may not be for you, but also know that mine is the elephant. It used to be the jaguar. <laughs> but anyway, um, the spirit animal is someone that helps you get through a moment of questioning. In other words, if you're questioning something and all of a sudden you start seeing this same bird or same type of animal or, you know, butterflies, insects, whatever it is that's coming to you all the time, you know that that is your spiritual answer. Um, and you, of course, of course, have to go delve into that. And then the power animal is someone that is, a, is an animal spirit that gets you through, the power animal gets you through hard times. It triggers the power. It triggers you to wake up, you know. So that's why I'm using the animal tarot. So there's going to be animal tarot here, and then we have the uh, mystical shaman, which is going to bring all that together and, and ground that one card message for you there. And then we have the key and the magic. Um, the key is about the past that uh, you're bringing in as well. And then we're going to do the tarot. And oh my God, so stay with me. Don't go away. Okay, so here we go. Gemini, let's see um, what it is that you're bringing in uh, from the past that you should be more aware of, okay, in this lifetime, because if we're stuck, it means that we're working, we're being distracted, and working against what we're really uh, embodied here in this incarnation, okay, it's very important to know that, and if you're not clear in your body, in your energy field, in your chakras, in an alignment, you're not going to manifest, um, you're going to be stuck, so it's very important that you keep the balance of health, movement, uh, plenty of sleep, you know, health, good heating habits, good living habits, good style of living, um, and you will be the avatar, the magician, um, everything and manifest everything that you've desired all of your lives. So here we go. What is a Gemini that is something that you should be aware of from your past that's here? Love redefined, okay. So um, there's some. In th this is about romance, okay? So love redefined. As Cupid has entered your heart and has awakened you to love and romance, but this time on a different vibration, okay? It's about having a newfound love for yourself. This is about self-love, Gemini. Um, this is a, a chapter in your life, an opportunity in this lifetime um, to cultivate healthy relationships. And the only way that can happen is if you self-love. So this is a very strong message for you from your past that you're bringing into this present life is about self-love okay this is a really really important message for you so let's see in what um, manifestation or magic within you um, that your spirit guides your angels or the ancestral guides um, are asking you to use to bring that self-love okay into your into this present moment into this present lifetime okay because that's what you're supposed to be working on self-love is self-love for you okay it's a different type of romance romance in your own life do you <laughs> okay so let's see what magic is it ah dream sweet sleep and deep okay so wondrous dreams 
okay? Work on your dreams. And maybe it's about the dreams that have never cultivated for you, that you've been waiting for, dreams that you've had about your life, about you, what, how you wanted to live your life. And that's about loving yourself. You know, when we are not uh, extremely, when we're just contemplating, when we're just like, oh, it's okay, I'll just, I'll just accept that. No, if there's things in your life that you've been dreaming about that you haven't cultivated or brought or manifested into this lifetime, it's because you need more self-love. You are important, Gemini. You are important. You are here to raise the vibration of the planet as at the same time raising your vibration. And it's through self-love that you become the manifester of your own life and make your dreams come true, okay? So that is an important message as well um, in how to uh, simply manifest is about self-love, loving yourself, right? And then when you love yourself, it's easy to love the rest of the world. So now what we're going to do is bring in um, what um, animal, what animal tarot, uh, it's, this is the animal tarot, so this is like the oracle part of the animal tarot. Uh, it's a really wonderful deck. They have a oracle and a tarot deck. And there's something else, but it doesn't, they don't make it anymore. I think it was more an extended uh, oracle cards, but they don't, they don't make them anymore. But anyway, I was so lucky to find these. So here we go. What animal spirit is here guiding this reading for you, Gemini? Martin. Okay. Look at him. <laughs> Okay, so he is a fortune. This is the, he brings fortunate tidings, camaraderie. It's all about the crown chakra. So they are waking you up on a higher level, a spiritual level, and usually that encompasses self love. So you are being blessed and crowned here with the Martin, um, which is part of the crown chakra um, in the energy field. And when the crown energies come through, you may feel a heaviness here. You may feel like pressure in your crown or your eyes. Um, or in your shoulders, um, that's the energy that's being downloaded um, during the times through the moon cycles as well, or when we have lineups of planets that are kind of energizing the, you know, the sun, everything. So know that um, you are being downloaded, you're getting messages, you are getting information downloaded through your crown right now about you. This is about a very personal process. This is about you. Self-love is very um, strong here. So now let's see with the native spirit. Uh, this is the ancestral um, energies that come from your incarnations. Um, this is a message, a culminated message from the DNA that is accumulative in your DNA, the energy that's in your DNA, the message that is coming from the nature spirit, okay, that uh, encompasses all of that personal traits. Um, different cultures that we've all come from, right? We've all said, gee, you know, how come I want to live in Japan? How come I want to live in the, in the Midwest? You know, I want to live with the, with the natives. I want to go to Peru. Because you've experienced those um, timelines and, and, and past lives. So let's see um, what the nature spirit, I may have to read this for you too because it's important. We'll see. Spirit Keeper of the West. So... I'm going to read this for you because this is an important message for you. The spirit keeper of the West, um, Gemini. I, I, the West is about letting go, I believe, but I'm going to just, um, I, I don't want to guess. Um, so let's just look for the spirit keeper of the West. All right, here we go. So, um, oops, skipped page. Here we go. Let me put my glasses on for you. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, so this is about transformation, letting go of the old, okay? Initiation. See, like I said, you are being initiated through the crown. Illumination. It's harvest time for you as well. So it's transformation, letting go of the old, initiation of the crown chakra, illumination, harvest. Gather your inner resources. If it doesn't feel right, don't go ahead. So trust your heart. Um, if you've been going through some chaos right now, Gemini, chaos brings positive change, okay? That's what I feel this card is here for you about, letting go. Uh, if it doesn't feel right, don't go. You know, let trust your heart, your intuition. Um, <clears throat> but almost know that all change uh, comes, positive change, right? When we change something, let go of something, you may not think it's good, but it always does turn out to be the better way. So. Keep that in mind. Also, your native spirit wants you to know that 
in the medicine wheel, the west is the direction that symbolizes the fiery setting, sun, autumn, the waning moon, and the time of harvest, and the tumultuous years of teenagers in the human cycle. Out of the chaos arise illumination and transformation. So in order to, for the new to ignite in your life, it's necessary to let go of the old, okay? So very important, you are being initiated through the crown, you're getting these inner messages, I'm sure you are, and if you're not aware of it, well, if you're feeling that heaviness in your crown area, in here, pressure, that's usually a download, okay? So now, let us go to the next card here, which is the Mystical Shaman. And the Mystical Shaman um, is a very strong earth energy, okay? The Mystical Shaman lives in every crevice of the earth core, their energy. Okay, um, the spiritual world there in the core of the earth is very powerful. So this comes from a very deep place. This will be a very deep one card message for you, Gemini. And let's see where that takes us um, in your journey on the path. Lightning, there you go. <laughs> lightning, so lightning is about changes. It's bolting, it's awakening. It's also quick and sudden changes, right? So anything, any, it's like the tower moment that's happening. Go with it. Go with this change. It's going to make your life much more brighter. As bright as that lightning is and as strong as that lightning is, it's going to make your life much stronger. In fact, I will put this card right here so you can see it better. All right. And now let's go to the tarot. And let's see um, in the seven placements of the cards where you are in your karma, your dharma, uh, where you are in the inner star of your heart, the future, anything that might be keeping you from going forward in this material world, you know, and, um, well, anyway, let's see what the cards say, and know that, you know, we are being activated, this, this reading is to activate you, and to wake you up a little, um, this is what my guides told me, that they've been wanting me to do this since February, you know, so let's see here, <laughs> I wasn't ready though, so let's see here, let's pull the cards out for you. And the one in the middle is your heart, the inner star. Okay, what's going on there? <laughs> Number two here at the top. We're gonna to be building like a seven-pointed star here. And that's your higher self, your inner voice. What is the karma that you are working on here in this lifetime? What is your dharma, which is your, your talent? your soulful task that you brought in? Is there anything keeping you from your soulful task in the material world? Uh, where are you placed here in the physical? Okay, that's here. And then um, what is the future? What is the future card? So let's see here. In your heart, let's put this little heart here. Let's see what's going on. This is the animal tarot now, the animal energies. Mm -hmm. Oh, the tiger, the king of wands. So. Empathy. Um, this is a very honorable spirit, very ferocious. Whew, this is in your heart, Gemini. Well, I can look at this two ways. In your heart, um, you are, you might be angry. <laughs> you might be protecting your heart right now. You know, you you may have had some situations that have caused some pain and 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 really, you know, being strong in your heart. You not let anybody bite a piece of it. Um, and it's also a very honorable energy as well, because when you're honoring your heart, you're honoring misdoings and misgivings. But let's maybe you just need to calm down a little, all right? Uh, maybe it's a little too, um, like the Martin here is, is about camaraderie, the crown chakra, um, fortunate tidings. So he's very soft, okay? He's giving you that, that crown energy is coming through. And also know that your dreams, your dreams, please start keeping a dream diary and know that anything um, in your past, start loving yourself more and perhaps that's is why you're protecting your heart. It's time to love yourself more. Release the tiger within your heart, okay? Because the tiger is very ferocious. It's like bites people it, or it scares people away. <laughs> time to love yourself more, okay? That's the big message that came out right in the beginning. Let's see what your higher self is saying. This is the Three of Wands. It says, rise and shine, okay? Um, take it slow and steady. So your, your higher self, the inner voice, is saying, take your time, your ship will come in. Things that you wanna manifest come from within you, right? And only when we're in alignment and good health 
and really grounded and, and bringing in the light down. Can we manifest? Can we become the magician, the avatar, the spiritual um, healer? All of that, uh, the master of our life, okay? So take your time. Let these energies come through you. This is the higher self. Take your time with it. Um, be patient and self-love is, is the most important energy here that I'm feeling here because of your heart energy and, and the rooster um, is the three of wands which is saying that everything is set for you. You just have to open your heart to yourself, okay? Loving yourself more. Now let's see, what is the karma of your past? The four of swords. So waiting the right, waiting till the right time is right. Okay, so the this is the sloth, the four of swords. So you you are healing your past. You have a lot of pain in your heart, Gemini, from the past lifetimes, and you probably feel like you can't get out of your way here. I feel like you're fighting uh, energies here in your life. You know, like you go this way, you go that way. But the only way to really resolve anything is to stay in your center and start opening your heart to yourself and healing the past because this four swords is saying healing and regeneration and rejuvenation healing the past filtering the mind and the heart to find balance okay so let's see um what is it that what is your gift that you're bringing into this world the five of wands so you are here um this is the tasmanian devil <laughs> you are a person who kind of instigates people maybe maybe you trigger people maybe that's what you have a very sharp mind um, you're probably very uh, aware and intelligent of, of many different levels and here you are using your your quick wit your your quick minded um, precise uh, way of you know sharing energy and sharing information with people and know that sometimes it causes competition and it causes uh, egos to come out and perhaps that is what you are. You are a provoker. <laughs> so that could be good in a way. Um, there's a lot of competition um, going on in your life as well with this. But be careful, you know, soften it. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you that from this self-love, everything here needs to be softened. It's required you to soften everything with your heart. Um, self-love, definitely. And what is it that uh, is, might be holding you back? The Seven of Cups, dreams, deception, and determination. So the Seven of Cups here, things in the material world may have may be elusive to you. But what's keeping you from, you know, following your Dharma, using your energy here um, to help people in a positive way, is really, really exercising your inner power. Okay, um, don't wait for anything to happen. It, it all takes place within the intuition not just in the mind, Gemini, okay? It takes place within here. So when we're in alignment and we can be clear, then we can manifest. So what's keeping you is um, illusion, okay? You keep seeing things in your mind that may not be real, but they are and they can be your dreams. You only have to ground them, okay? That's what's keeping you from um, being within your happiness, okay? With bringing in the self-love is to ground that energy within you so that you can definitely then manifest, okay? So the Seven of Cups is all about, yes, everything's there. You have lots of opportunity. There's beautiful things, possibilities, but it only is an illusion if you don't ground your energy in it, okay? Um, you have to work at that. So let's see where you are in the present, in the physical. You are in abundance, creativity, and fertility. So you are the empress right now. You seem to be okay with everything. Um, this is fertility. This is someone who's growing, okay? What I feel here is that you do want to expand your life in better ways. You want to build more beautiful things around you. You want um, you want the romance, but you have to romance your own life and self-love in order to become fully the, pre the presence of the, of, the, um, of the empress. You are growing right now in many different ways, and the empress has beautiful empathy, beautiful energy, and so this is you here now in the earth, um, this is what you're wanting. You want this even more so. So work on the self-love and in the future, the Three of Cups. You celebrate life, okay? Beautiful celebration of life with friends, networking, family. You will resolve um, all of everything that you've been wanting when you self-love. That is your big message today. Self-love to bring you more possibilities that you ground, that become real, that you become the positive um, 
person in everyone's life because you are positive within your life. The Empress is not just an image, it's grounded in your life, okay? So let's see um, what the lesson card is for you and then the one message from Gaia, okay? So this is a lesson card for you. This is the uh, the Black Tarot, the, the, <laughs> the, the Black Heart Tarot, right? Um, it's, it's definitely about uh, energies of nature and plants and animals and so it's a tarot and I'm going to pull one card that will be the message of the lesson for you that you can take with you that you may not be aware of it or something that you may want to think about. Let's see what it's saying here. Okay, this is the death card. So it's about transformation, big time transformation for you, Gemini. It's time. It's time for self-love, okay? And then the Gaia's message for you, um, let's see what she has in store um, in this final message. And thank you for thank you so much for hanging in there. I hope you, <laughs> you're learning something. I hope I can activate um, an opening for you and really, really get you on a good path of manifesting all that you dream of. Okay, so harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. So use your power, use your um, self-empowerment to bring harmony into your world, Gemini, right? So balance, balance everything. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Take care. Please subscribe, share, and comment if you haven't already. And thank you for joining me again. Take care now. Have a wonderful week.